सो लेट्स टुडे डिस्कस अबाउट दी पालोल्टो वर्चुअल वायर फॉर अंडर ट्राफिक एंड द पैक ट्राफिक तो वी हैव थ्रू सीनारियो इन द फर्स्ट सीनारियो वी हैव अ पालोल्टो फायर वॉल बिटवीन द राउटर एंड द कोर्ड स्विच बट इट्स अ अंटैक ट्राफिक तो मीन्स ऑन राउटर वी हैव अ डायरेक्ट इंटरफेस एंड ऑन द स्विच वी हैव अ अंटैक्ड इंटरफेस मीन्स एक्सेस मोड However, in a second diagram, we have a sub interface on the router where we have enabled the encapsulation dot one Q and a VLAN ID, and on the core switch, the core switch we have configured the interface as a trunk. First scenario, whenever Palo Alto firewall receives the frame on virtual wire interface, that frame will be the untagged. And in the second scenario, whenever you firewall receives the frame from the core switch, it will be a tag with the VLAN ID ten. So how virtual wire? uh behave in the both the situation and what configuration you have to perform inside the virtual wire okay let's get started first scenario i have a core switch i have a router and i will put palo alto firewall in between ethernet 1/1 slash ethernet 1/2 slash what about the zone mapping right i forgot to add zone guys okay so here ethernet 1/1 slash is a part of trust zone so my bad untrust Untrust zone, Ethernet one slash two is a part of trust zone. Okay, and zone type is of course virtual wire. Interface type is also virtual wire. Here we would require only one virtual wire. That's it. Clear? Chalo. So let's go, guys, and the move on. But before configure the Palo Alto firewall, let me just configure the router. Okay, because I have not yet configured the router. So go to the mobile screen where it is. Uh, a router. Uh, enable. configuration terminal interface fast ethernet 0/0 ip address 10.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 my bad 255.255.255.0 and no shutdown okay uh, and we will create a two loopback address right uh, for the testing basically right and based on this loopback address we will configure the security policy okay so enter uh then interface look back uh, what i have look back one okay look back one ip address 1.1.1.1255.255.255.255/32 right not 24 stack 32 single ip address okay uh then uh, uh, no shutdown is not required because it's a look back interface then interface look back to ip address 1.1.1.2 255.255.255.255. Okay, clear. Then show IP INT brief. Okay, here you go, guys. Right, you have the uh, 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 gateway and you have a two loopback interface. Okay, let's go and uh, configure the Palo Alto firewall now. Go to the Palo Alto firewall. First, you have to uh, convert. Uh, you are not convert. You have to change the interface type. Currently, default interface type is a tap mode. So, if you want to, you have to configure in a virtual wire mode. Right, just click OK. Then Ethernet one slash two configure your interface type in a virtual wire mode. Okay. Then create a two zone, trust zone and untrust zone. While create a zone, your zone type should also virtual wire. Okay. Add zone name is trust zone and type is virtual wire. Trust zone. Okay. Add uh, add interface trust Ethernet one slash two is a part of trust zone. Okay, so click. Okay, then create an untrust zone. Untrust zone. Okay. Untrust. We are US untrust zone. Type virtual wire Ethernet one slash one is a part of untrust zone. Clear about the mapping. Perfect. Then go to the virtual wire and configure the virtual wire now. Add a virtual wire. Okay, and here name V wire zero one interface Ethernet one slash one pair interface Ethernet one slash two. Remember guys, you can have only two interface in a one virtual wire mode. Okay, and guys, currently Palo Alto firewall will receive the untagged traffic, so do not uh, mention tag over here. No, it's a plain frame without having any VLAN tagging. Do not mention anything over here. Okay. Okay, 
okay link state pass through we'll discuss later this is one of the option link state pass through so we will have the another session point okay so we have configured the uh, virtual one next step go to the policy create a security policy add a policy name of the policy oh just minute okay so name of the security policy is trust to un trust okay and what we will do over here what we will do here we will allow the 10.1.1.10 to look back one however deny for 1.20 for 10.1.1.20 we will allow the icp thing for 1.1.1.2 so we will create a two policy okay right so when you configure the very specific policy uh, right so uh, by default uh, right uh, implicit deny that if doesn't if nothing is matched follow the firewall will drop the packet if it is a inter zone traffic that is important point guys okay go to the palo alto firewall <coughs> create untrust to trust rule number 1 source zone trust source ip 10.1.1.10 okay uh, if you not mention subject mask by default it will take 32 destination zone my untrust and look back address of the palo alto firewall uh, router ip 1.1.1.1 okay application ping okay ping icmp perfect then service not required okay so we have one policy where we have allowed the connection from 10.1.1.1 okay just adjust the cable 1.1.1.10 destination 10.1.1.10 .1 .1 .1 destination 1.1.1 .1 icmp allow another policy we will configure just click and clone the policy clone rule add uh, modify the rule source press however you change the ip address 10.1.1.20 10.1.1.20 Destination 1.1.1.2. Right, this is our policy. Right, application any, any, any. Okay. So, what will happen if 10.1.1.10 try to reach 1.1.2? There is no policy, so it will drop the packet because source and destination we have mentioned. Specific source, specific destination we have mentioned. And, guys, one more thing there is no option in the security policy where you define this policy is for the virtual wire. No. Right, only universal you can define intrazone and intrazone. By default, it will take a traffic from the ingress egress interface. Okay. Uh, so far, I think I have done with the configuration. What about the routing? Does it require a routing? No. Firewall doesn't require routing for 1.1.1, 1.1.1.2. .1 Why? Because it is in a transparent mode, virtual wire mode. Routing doesn't require. It. Okay. So for PC1 and PC2, their gateway will be the 10.1.1.1. Okay. Go back and commit the configuration. Commit successfully. Uh, close now let's go and initiate the traffic from pc1 and the pc2 okay so let me go to the monitor all right both the uh, uh, traffic logs <coughs> my bad uh, zoom kara thoda chalo 150 uh, then go to the lan pc uh, the lan pc ip is 10.1 lan pc2 it's a lan pc2 and we have lan pc1 uh, lan pc1 my bad my bad so show and the IP address is 10.1.1.10 and as per the security policy 10.1.1.10 have access to 1.1.1.1. Let's go and ping it. Okay. Ping 10. Uh, my 1.1.1.1. I'm able to ping. I'm able to ping. Do one thing. Let's uh, 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 ping 1.1.1.2. You won't. Why? Because we don't have a security policy. Right, by default, it will deny the inter zone traffic if you don't have a security policy. 1.1.1.2, no access. Right, because we don't have a security policy. Come on, okay. Then go to the PC2, <coughs> LAN PC2, ping 1.1.1.2. I'm able to ping because second number policy. Ping 1.1.1.1. No, because we don't have security policy. See, guys, right, even though your Palo Alto firewall deny the traffic before reach to the gateway, try to understand. Right. So before reach to the gateway, right, we have Palo Alto firewall denying all the traffic which is not allowed. Here, look at the logs now. This is most important. Go to the monitor. Under monitor, see the logs. I can see the logs, guys, over here. 
right i can see the logs if you see the logs right first log okay <clears throat> uh, I uh, the traffic is coming from source 10.1.1.10 .1 .1 destination 1.1.1.1 source destination i receive the traffic on interface ethernet 1 slash 2 which is connected to the core switch right which is a part of trust zone and going out via traffic ethernet 1 slash 1 which is a part of control zone simple right because and it allowed by the rule number 1 trust 2 untrust 1 similar way for Source 10.1.1.20, destination 1.1.1.2, right? Allow by the policy trust to untrust 0 1 means second rule. Okay. And the direction is same 1 slash 2, Ethernet 1 slash 2, ingress means I receive the traffic on this interface and out via Ethernet 1 slash 1. Now let's configure the tag. Now let's configure the tag. To configure the tag scenario, guys, next scenario is a tag, right? Here I have a Sub interface on router and I have a Palo Alto firewall in between. On the switch, I have a trunk. Wait, we have to first modify the router configuration. We have to modify router configuration. Let's go to the router, log into the router, configuration terminal, then default, default interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0, right? No shutdown. Exit Ethernet interface flash 0 slash 0 dot 10 encapsulation dot 1q 10. Now uh, uh, you are uh, on the router. You are configured sub interface. So router is expecting a tag frame from the switch. And between we have a Palo Alto firewall. IP address 10.1.1.1 255.255.255.0. .1 .1 .1 Perfect. We have done with the router configuration. Not required any changes on the loopback. Don't worry. Now Go to the switch, right? Switch config is most important. LAN switch, uh, enable configuration terminal, VLAN 10, create a VLAN 10. Come on, VLAN, VLAN 10. And what about my interface? Gigabyte 0 slash 0. It should be a trunk, right? Which is connected to my Palo Alto firewall. Okay. So, interface gigabyte 0 slash 0, switch port mode trunk. Okay, no problem. Switch port trunk encapsulation. Uh, encapsulation uh, dot 1q and then switch port mode trunk switch port trunk allowed VLAN 10 clear and now the port connected to your machine should be a part of VLAN 10 okay let me see the port now uh, right show IP INT brief because I have not mentioned the diagram okay so as per my knowledge gigabyte 1 slash 0 PC1 and PC2 because these two interfaces are up, right? Perfect. 1 slash 0 and 1, uh, 1 slash 1. Okay. Then interface gigabyte 1 slash 0. Then switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. We have to write because gigabyte 0 slash 0 is now trunk. So the, uh, the interface connect connected to the machine should be part of VLAN 10, right? Access mode. Okay, <clears throat> then exit, why exit, wait, then interface gigabyte 1 slash 1, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. Okay, it will take time, spanning tree, right, okay, no problem. So now what I have, I have a, uh, in, uh, I have configured switch interface gigabyte 0 slash 0 as a trunk. So, whenever it send an frame towards the router, it will tag with VLAN ID 10. Router uh, firewall receive the tag frame on Ethernet 1 slash 2, which is a part of virtual wire. It will not understand by default. Wait, let's go and uh, let's go and initiate the ping. From LAN PC1, let me see. Uh, okay, it's a PNP, right? Let me ping. Uh, oh, from LAN PC1, 1.1.1.1. See, I am not able to ping. Policy is there, right? But the problem is, why? Because uh, uh, by default, Palo Alto virtual wire will not process or will not carry the tag frame. So, firewall should aware about the tagging. So, what you will do, guys? Simply, you will go to the virtual wire network. Under network, 
virtual wire under virtual wire modify your existing virtual wire and here in the virtual wire just mention the 10 okay so means whenever i receive any frame uh, on ethernet 1 slash 1 or ethernet 1 slash 2 that will be tagged by vlan 10 okay clear so link pass through right we'll see, see later here commit commit now your virtual wire is a tag aware virtual wire i can say again it is not mentioned any, anywhere in the admin guide or uh, Palolo design guide it's just for my knowledge okay commit successfully okay so now go and ping your one dot one dot one see i'm going to ping now why because now Palo Alto is able to process the tag frame right clear so so far guys in this video uh, in this session we have covered the two scenario right where we have the untagged uh, uh, frame right and the tag frame in the next lecture uh, right uh, we will talk about the sub interface on the Palo Alto firewall right router having a sub interface dot 10 dot 20 so how can map those sub interface on the palo alto fire virtual wire correct so we will create a, on a physical interface we will create a sub interface and sub interface will be a part of your virtual channel not the physical so guys stay tuned happy learning